Sony is expected to launch the Xperia 2 at IFA with the highest and sharpest display resolution ever to be put on a smartphone. I am Keno and this is Anchortech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. The Sony Xperia 1 was released a few months ago and it might be too soon but Sony is gearing up to launch its successor, the Xperia 2 at IFA. The Xperia 1 brought some new things to the table for Sony like the cinema-wide 21 by 9 aspect ratio and a 4K display resolution. It was also the first Sony device to feature a triple camera setup and also the first device from Sony after the company's Alpha division agreed to work with the smartphone division to improve its camera performance. So the Xperia 1 had really amazing cameras although it wasn't necessarily better than the likes of the iPhone, Samsung and Pixel but it was a step in the right direction for Sony. Now the Xperia 2 will follow the same path with the 21 by 9 aspect ratio, a triple camera setup which includes a telephoto lens, a wide angle lens and an ultra wide angle lens. But this time, instead of a 4K display, Sony's gonna up the resolution to a whopping 5K. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? So the Xperia 2 is gonna have about 70% more pixels than the Xperia 1 and almost twice that of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's gonna be the sharpest display ever on a smartphone with a pixel density of 899. That's pretty insane if you think about it, because the human eye can hardly distinguish between a full HD and a 2K panel on a smartphone. So using a 5K panel on such a small screen is overkill and will definitely have a negative effect on battery life. And it will require more processing power to push those higher pixels. And I don't think Sony will go with the Snapdragon 855 Plus, but I'm just speculating. I hope they go with the more powerful chipset. And they should also include a bigger battery because the 3330 mAh battery that was on the Xperia 1 couldn't cut it for that higher resolution. So at least a 4000 mAh battery should do it. Other specifications of the device include 6GB of RAM, 120GB of onboard storage, triple 12 megapixel cameras positioned at the top left corner, a side mounted fingerprint sensor and maybe, just maybe, support for 5G. We're gonna know more about the device pretty soon because Sony will announce the phone at IFA in Berlin. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos on this device and other tech updates. Like if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think about Sony using the 5 5K display on a smartphone in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.